Catherine Toon from Technique Junkies. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be making a couple of cards using Nouveau Embellishment Mousse and Technique Junkie stamps. Let's get started. With this project, I'm going to be using a the Spring Daisy stamp from the Technique Junkies line, some Nouveau Mousse two colors, Lemon Sorbet and Orange Crush. I'm going to be using an acrylic block in place of a palette and my water brush. The first thing I'm going to do is take some orange crush out of this pretty empty jar and place it directly onto the acrylic block. I'm using it as a palette um, because that's what a lot of people have as acrylic blocks and I'm also going to be taking the leftover product and using that in another project uh, in this video. So I wanted to use it on the palette so I, I'm sorry, on the acrylic block so that I could work directly from that later. So I'm just putting the two colors on the acrylic block and then I'm taking my water brush and squeezing it a little bit to get some water out of it. I'm going to be adding that into the Nouveau embellishment mousse. I'm just kind of getting those colors nice and watery. And now I'm just going to be painting this uh, Spring Daisy uh, image. This Spring Daisy's image I had previously uh, embossed in black embossing powder. Um, I didn't feel the need to make you watch that. It would, it's kind of like watching paint dry. And as you can see here, I'm just adding the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, the watered orange crush Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I'm adding it to the inside of my daisies and right around the outside edges of in, I'm sorry, the inside edges of my flower. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me in real time paint these flowers. But I'm going to finish up with my orange. And as I'm finished, I'm just going to wipe my water brush off on a paper towel in between colors. Now I'm adding a little bit of water to the lemon sorbet. And I'm going to start painting the rest of the daisies with this. Even though this is sped up, I am working quick on this project because the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse does dry very quickly. So in order to blend it a little bit, I want to work in a, in a fairly rapid rate. As the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse dries, it gets harder to blend. So when you are doing this, I would actually recommend doing one daisy at a time as opposed to how I'm doing it here, which is working on all the daisies in each color. I would do one daisy in orange, and then add the, the lemon mousse, and then I would go back and do the second daisy and the third daisy. That way you can really blend the colors pretty well. Um, the mousse will blend very well while it's still damp, but after it dries, and it dries pretty quick, it will uh, make it a little more difficult to uh, blend. I'm adding a little bit of spring green here, not very much, so I'm adding a little water to it, took it out of the jar, and now I'm putting it right onto uh, just a couple of the areas there that I thought needed a little bit of green. Now here I am, I'm just going to finish this up, take a dry cloth, and I'm just going to gently wipe all over this, kind of pick up the excess. The embossing on this piece actually resists the embellishment loose. So that piece is done and ready to be uh, dealt with in a few minutes. Now, I don't want to waste another product on here, so I'm going to mix it all together, and I'm going to add some pink flambe. I love this bright pink color, and if you notice, the, jar, the stuff in my jars is pretty crumbly. That's the natural state of this project. Please do not add any water to your jars. Do not change the consistency at all. It's perfectly normal for it to look crumbly like that. Now I'm just going to mix this around like I did in the beginning. I'm adding the pink. I'm getting it nice and mixed. And now I'm going to paint directly onto a stamp. This stamp is called Watercolor Flowers, and I am working pretty quickly. Again, this does dry very fast. And the first time out, I'm just going to paint it with the uh, newly mixed colors, because you can mix the colors on the palette, like I did before. I added some pink flambe to that orange to get that color. And now I'm just going to uh, make a little bit of green paint here, and I'm painting on the stamp in green. As you can see, I'm not much on ceremony with this technique. I'm just flipping this stamp right over and putting it on my paper. You can use an acrylic block or a MISTI to apply your stamp, of course. But I was working quickly, so I just worked with what I had. Now, I added a little bit of water to that because I don't want to waste any of that color on that stamp. And what comes out of this is rather watercolory if you use as much water as I did. If you use a little bit less water, you can get a second pressing, but it'll be much lighter. So now I have a very watercolory look on there. It's really important to clean your stamp off right away. And I clean mine off with a baby wipe and water. Make sure you get all of it. 
Don't let any of that little residue stay on your stamp at all because it will dry and it will harden on your stamp. Um, it, my stamps are fine. I do this all the time and my stamps are fine with a good cleaning, but make sure that you do that. It's really important for the health of your stamps. Now I still have a lot of product on that acrylic block, so I'm just going to add some water to it with a spray bottle and move it around with my finger a little bit. Simply going to take another piece of white cardstock and just rub it all over it. I'm going to add a little more with my fingers. And then what I'm doing here is I'm going to be lifting and smacking. So I really liked those lift up marks that I get when I press down and lift up straight up. I think it's kind of a cool little effect. And yes, this is a very grungy technique, but why waste any of that product? Now I noticed as I was doing this that I had uh, divots and peaks and valleys here and I want to stamp into that piece. So I'm going to remove some of that, but why take it off with a paper towel when I can still use it? So I'm taking another piece of white cardstock and I actually sprayed it with water and I placed it right into the top, onto the top of that uh, white piece that I just put on there. And I'm just pressing down. And I'm going to lift that straight up. And now I have this eh, partially done piece. I'm going to re-wet that with the, with the water once again and re-wet the uh, piece that's beneath. And I'm just going to press them together once again and keep trying until I pick up more of that color. I'm going to do it a couple of times. And then I'm going to take that block. And I'm actually going to lift the block up, add some water to it, lift the block up and put that onto the second piece. Now, I know that doesn't look like a whole lot of anything, but I was really pleased with how the finished product turned out. It, once this dries, it keeps its shimmer. You still have all the metallic look on both of the pieces I made here. Both of these little metallic -y, grungy pieces that I made here are very shimmery when they dry. And I was very pleased with how they turned out. I know it doesn't look like much, but look at this finished product. I think you'll be surprised at how nice it turned out. So here we go. We're gonna, I'm going to show you the three projects I finished with this. The first project that I finished is actually the last one we just did. This is the smacked piece, the piece that I pressed the excess uh, product onto. And you can see I used the watercolor flower stamp over it, stamped in brown stays on. It is so pretty and so metallic in person. I think I actually love this one maybe the most. This next piece is the little tiny grungy piece. I just cut a little bit out of that and I stamped the Black Butterfly Dream stamp in black stays on that. That's layered over another piece uh, that has the orange crush stenciled through a stencil. I just love how cute that is. Uh, the third piece is the actual watercolored flowers that we did with the spring daisies. Very, very pretty and very, very shimmery in person. And I didn't do much with this. I just layered it on a couple of pieces of cardstock. I didn't think it really needed that much to show off how beautiful it was. And I'm trying to capture here the shimmer. It's a little hard to see with a camera and a still shot, but it is very shimmery. And finally, the last piece is the watercolor flowers direct to stamp piece. This piece has incredible texture to it, an incredible shimmer on it, and I just didn't really think it needed very much, so I just added a Life Full of Love stamp over the top to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.